Welcome to the video. This is Marvin from Novapool, and in this video, I will show you PoolTool.io, one of the most popular Cardano pool explorers, and how you can use it for yourself. And here we go. Before I introduce you to the different functions and features of the site, I would first like to thank the stake pool operators Love and Pega for developing this browser and making the site available for free to the Cardano community. If you think this site is great, support Love or Pega and delegate to one of these pools. We are currently on the start page, and I will now explain to you from top to bottom the structure of the page and the importance of each section. First, you can decide whether you want the page to be displayed in dark mode or in light mode. Furthermore, Pool Tool offers the choice to switch between different languages and currencies. On the left side, you will find a menu with various data of the Cardano blockchain. Under Recent Blocks, you will find a real-time view of the produced blocks. There, you can see the current block height, from which pool the block was mined, and other technical details. You can search for any block height using the search bar. Under Analysis, you can see a graph of the live blocks per pool in the current epoch. Under Network Health, you will find a dashboard with various statistics regarding the network. In the last section of the menu, you can find out about the pools that have contributed to the site and other ways to support the site. As you can see, the page is divided into several sections. At the top, you can see the overview of all important metrics for the Cardano blockchain, such as the total stake, the number of active pools, the total number of stake addresses, the current epoch, how filled the current slot is, and finally, the block height and how many blocks have already been mined in this epoch. Below are the search bar for the stake addresses, the link to a tax tool, the links to a mobile app, and a telegram bot of the page. One of the special features of the Pool Tool browser is its extensive pool overview. Here, you have the option to search for specific pools dedicated to certain topics or regions. By clicking the Consolidate button, you can display the table of pools in a compact form. In the search bar, you can either enter the ticker of the pool you are looking for, or you can search for a specific phrase. To the right of the search bar, you have the option to search for various attributes of the pool such as whether it is a single pool, if it is saturated or not, how many blocks it has already mined, and so on. Besides the filter button, you have the possibility to customize the table below with the pools and add or remove the columns you are interested in. We demonstrate to you on the example of our stake pool Nova which additional information you can take from the page. To do this, we type Nova in the search box and look for the corresponding stake pool in the table. Click on the blue arrow Pool Details to continue. This will open the Pool Overview page where you can see all relevant information about your selected pool. At the top left, you will find the name of the pool, its ticker name, description and the pool ID, reward address, and pool owner address unique to this pool. In the table below, you will find various statistics that you can click through, such as the epoch history, how many blocks have been mined, delegations and awards of the pool. At Delegators, you can see the stake addresses of all delegators of the pool, and if you are delegating to this pool, also your own. If you click on the blue arrow, you will see the delegation history of the stake address. Under Address Details, Pool Tool lists information about how high your stake was and how many rewards you have received during which epoch. The Export tool will help you with your accounting. Here you can see how many rewards you have received, when you received them, 
and what was the equivalent value of them in your preferred currency at the time you received them. For this purpose, you can set the format in which the file will be exported, the reference currency of your country, and the period relevant for your tax return. With a click on Download Data, you have the option to export the entire history of your wallet. And that's it for the video! Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our new videos in the future. If this video has added value to you and you would like to stake too, feel free to come on board. Follow us on Twitter for the latest news about Cardano and our pool. If you have any questions, feel free to check out our multilingual Telegram group. See you in the next epoch!